Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a really chatty mood, so I decided I'm going to do a chit chat, get ready with me, as well as a first impression. Um, I don't know why my camera keeps going out of focus and it's really annoying. But anyway, so um, tonight I am. Ah, Tonight I am going to my dance concert, and so I'm going to be doing my dance makeup, which I did a video on last year as well. So it's just like classic stage makeup, with like red lip, darker, like brown, natural eyes, things like that. But I'm also going to be doing a first impression on these oval makeup brushes. Um, I've been wanting these for a while, so I just ordered some off Trade Me, which is like a New Zealand version of eBay, I guess. And these were $20 plus shipping, and it's a 10 set pack, so I thought that was like a really good deal. And the thing I love about these brushes is that they're not made of animal fur, so they're completely cruelty-free in that sense, which is really good. And they're so soft, and they're all falling everywhere. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using today for the first time. But I have makeup on already, so I'm going to start off by taking that off. So to take it off today, I'm just using my micellar cleansing water and some cotton pads. I honestly love this cleanser because it removes all your makeup so well. And I, I trust this more than um, makeup wipes because I feel like it gets more of the stuff right out of your pores and everything and cleanses your face a bit deeper. I really need to get my eyebrows dyed again, or like tinted. The stuff removes like waterproof mascara so easily. Just take like a clean one and I just pat my face dry. And now I'm just going to apply some Nivea Cellia Anti-Age Day Cream which um, is just like a real nice light moisturizer that I like to just use just as a base for my makeup. I don't know just like just after wearing makeup for the entire day and then reapplying it I like to apply a moisturizer now my face is all sticky and ready for primer. The primer I always use is my Maybelline Baby Skin. I honestly love this primer so much. Um, I've got quite a lot of like high-end primers, but I always come back to this one because it feels so nice on my skin and I feel like it does a better job than most of my other primers or like the same job. Like it's nothing, like I don't know, I don't see, I, there's no primer I have that like really stands out to me, like the high-end stuff, so I feel like this stuff's like on par with it, so that's what I use. Okay, um, now I'm going to be applying my foundation. I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear SPF 10 foundation in NW13. I usually don't use SPF foundations on like stage and things like that because like it can wash you out. However, I don't really find that with this one, so it's not too much of a hassle. And plus, it's a really good foundation anyway, so I don't really I'm not bothered by it too much. Oh, I get to use my first brush. So for my liquid foundation, I am taking the second biggest brush which is this one here it looks like a spoon <laughs> and I'm just gonna brush this into whoa holy crap holy crap I am loving this oh my goodness it's like the best makeup brush I've ever used that is so crazy I didn't expect it to be that good because it's so cheap but like that like turned what I would usually use as like half a good layer of foundation into like full, nearly full coverage. That is crazy. Holy crap. I've never even had this concealer but I love it. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in Light Pale which is like number 002. <laughs> number 02 because I'm pale as. And yeah it's pretty much like all empty but I'm just going to take the concealer brush which I believe is this one here and I'm just gonna brush this onto it. Whoa! Can you see that? It got a lot of product out of nothing. I see what the hype is with these. I very much like it. And I'm just gonna chuck some just to cancel out redness on my cheeks and on some zits and imperfections I have. On my chin and around my nose. Now onto powder, I'm just using my good old Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. Um, this is in the transparent shade, the 001. And I'm using the biggest brush for this. This one's pretty damn big. So the size of my cheek. Oh, that applies a lot of powder. Like, it completely mattifies my face with, like, way little product than other brushes do. It's crazy how much a brush can, like, 
change how good your makeup looks. Now it's time to contour and bronze up my face. So I'm going to be taking my favorite bronzer, which is my The Balm Betty Luminizer. Um, so yeah, I've hit pan like pretty dead on, but I still have quite a bit of product left. Thank God. So I'm using this one here, which is like the third biggest. Um, and so yeah, I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones. This is really easy to blend. And then down here as well. There is my bronzer. It looks quite bronzed, but that's because you need to make sure you look bronzed from on stage. So yeah, so now I'm just taking my highlighter. This highlighter is nice, but it's not very pigmented, so I'm trying to get as much pigment out of it. Might just try and just put more part on and then blend it out. Oh, it's blending a lot better than it has previously. There is my highlight done, and now I'm going to add a little bit of blush. I'm just going to use the same. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to use this brush here, which I haven't used yet. And my blush is the. Uh, Azalea in the Afternoon blush from MAC, which I think is a really pretty pink shimmery colour. I think it's just such a pretty colour, so I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And the face is done, so now on to eyebrows. I always just use my L'Oreal Brow Artist kit, but I'm going to try and use this tiny little, like very much like Thin brush here to fill in my eyebrows with. Okay, this isn't as working as well as I hoped. I'm finding this a little bit harder to control the shape of my eyebrows. I mean, they're not looking horrible, but I am finding it a little difficult to work with. So yeah, I'm just going to use the normal brush again because I find that it's a little bit easier to use. Moving on to, oh, so I then like to use this brow tint from Australis just to go over my brows. Just This just like holds the colour and shaping it in place and just darkens up my brows a little bit more and makes them last a little bit longer, especially for like dance shows or like big events and big nights out and things like that. So starting with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and this is just the original one. I'm just going to apply this all over my lids. Sweet, okay. So now I get to try out these brushes. So I'm going to be using colours from the Naked One palette because I think this is a really great um, natural like bronzy brown palette. So I'm going to be starting with the colour uh, Buck and I'm going to be using just one of the two smallest brushes. This looks like a toothbrush. I don't like this. I'm going to use this brush, which is a lot bigger than this one, um, and I'm just going to blend this. Okay, that's working better. That's blending it out. I don't know why, but whenever I do like my makeup, I always tend to start in the crease rather than on the lid and then do the lid last. There we go. Some more of that. Okay, I'm now liking this. It's still kind of difficult to blend, but that might just be because I didn't wait for the um, primer to completely dry. Cool, so I'm now going to be taking the colour Dark Horse, which is kind of like a I want to say green. It's like a khaki, like dark khaki greeny kind of colour. And I'm just going to put that into my crease just to darken it up, mainly on the outside. I love this colour. This just creates a lot more dimension onto my eyeball. It makes it more dramatic so that it can be seen better from stage. 
sweet and now i'm going to be moving on to my lid so i'm going to take this one again i feel like this will be better for more of a lid than a blending brush um and i'm going to take the color naked um which is just like a light matte brown color and i'm just going to first of all use it as a base on my lid And then we we'll take the color smog, which is like a dark gold color, and put that on top. Kind of focusing it on the outer part of my lid. I'm then going to be taking this thin brush again, and I'm going to be taking the color, uh, which one? Let's take the smog again, and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. I'm also going to take the colour Half Baked, which is probably my favourite colour in this palette. It's um, like a bright gold colour. I'm just going to apply this to the centre of my lid just to kind of highlight um, my makeup, like my eye makeup a little bit. And also just add a little bit more shimmer. And then I'm going to take the colour Virgin, which is like a very light, like champagne-y, Oh, it's more like a pearly colour, um, like a pearly shimmer one. So I'm just using this as a highlight colour. I'm also going to sweep this under my eyebrow. Like so. And I'm also going to put this onto my actual high face highlight. Because I think this is a really pretty highlighting colour and it also just makes my highlight pop. Just like that. So now onto eyeliner. I'm not going to be using one of these brushes for eyeliners just because I don't need to. This is the Balm Schwing eyeliner. I love it. I think it's so easy to control and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to be using this. I did quite a strong wing because it is supposed to be a little dramatic so it's stage makeup so it's a little bit bigger than I would usually do my wing. So that makes my eyes pop a lot more. I really like what that looks like. Where is my eyelash curler? Someone stole it the other day, so I don't have my eyelash curler with me. Oh well, I'm just going to be putting on a ton of mascara then. So this is my favourite mascara. It's a Scandalize Rimmel London Rock and Curves mascara. I was going to apply like eyelashes, and I had some I saved for the concert, but I've completely misplaced them. And it's too late to go buy them, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm pretty excited for this concert. Um, we're doing the theme of the concert is tributes. Everyone's doing a tribute to either like a TV show or a dead person or an alive person, something like that. And we're doing Austin Powers, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's like our class is Austin Powers, and then the class below us, um, which is advanced. We're advanced too, so then the advanced ones are like our fan girls. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then last but not least is red lips. So we're doing a dark red lip. So I'm going to start with my Maybelline New York Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil in Red Essentials. Um, I love these pencils. I literally use them as like full on normal lipstick. The world's worst application, but that's okay. Literally least of my life. And so that is my dance makeup done. Um, now it's gonna head off to my dance concert. I'm pretty late, so I better hurry and still get dressed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm super excited for my dance concert. Overall, on the brushes, I really like the face brushes. I think that they're incredible. Best brushes I've ever used by far. Definitely worth picking up. The eyeshadow brushes, on the other hand, they are good, but they're not like incredible. Like I wouldn't rave about them because I find they're a little bit difficult to blend with. So I'm not as hyped about those, but I still will use them probably for other things. So I'll find something to use them for that I probably like to use them for. But yeah, that is my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed. Smelly safe and stay beautiful, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Adios.